This video is all about the soft top and hard top roof mechanism on the Mercedes R107. We're going to show you what to do if you can't get your hard top off or you can't get your soft top down. And we're also going to show you what to do if you can't get the clamshell cover up because one of your catches isn't working. There are several videos showing you how to get the soft top up and down and the hard top off. But I have to say that nearly every single one of them is using the wrong method. Whenever you're putting the hard top on or off or the soft top up or down, it's important that you either have the windows down or the doors open so you don't damage any of the rubbers on the roof or the window glass. If you are new to one of these SLs, you've never put the soft top up or down or taken the hard roof off, it's important to realize that you always start by releasing the back of the roof. So in the case of the soft top, you release the back of the roof, put it all the way up, and then the clamshell should come up, and then you undo the front two catches. If you do it the other way around, you will struggle. Similarly, when you're putting the soft top up, you need to do up the front catches first, and you need to do up the rear catches last. If you try and put the back of the roof down first, what you may find when you try to come to put the front of the roof down is that there's no way you can get that in. You must put the front down first and then put the back down. Underneath the rear clamshell there are two cables. One cable operates a little hook that hooks the hard top and soft top down and the other cable operates the catches which hold this clamshell down and if either of those cables are either broken or maladjusted you will have problems either getting your hood off or getting this clamshell up. Over time these cables can snap either because they haven't been lubricated or simply because they're worn out and once that happens you may no longer be able to open the clamshell or operate the little hook mechanism at the back here that allows you to release both the hard top and the soft top hood. The cable which controls the little hook is this part number here. Now you can get this from Euro or from Rock Auto and it's relatively cheap to do so. So we'll be showing you how to replace these cables and also what you might need to do if you can't get your clamshell open or your roof up or down. If your hard top or soft top gets stuck, i.e. this hook here won't release, what you need to do is get a piece of stiff wire and bend it in something, a shape something like that. And then you're going to put this down the hole and I'm gonna try and film what happens inside. Now remember, if your hook gets stuck, what you want to be doing is moving this lever back this way. So you're going to be pushing it with this piece of wire here. So you can see that by getting a piece of wire down there, you can just about push that back. You can use a piece of coat hanger to do that, but what I would suggest doing is putting some electrical tape around there, it's just so that you don't damage the edge of this here. If you're struggling to get the hard top off, sometimes you can get a set of mole grips around here and actually twist this so that, uh, twist it through 90 degrees so that it's no longer hooked under. But nine times out of 10, that is rusted solid in there and won't move. If you have enough friends, you can also potentially lift the hard top. Four people lift the hard top up and move the whole hard top around 90 degrees and that will unhitch that as well but it is quite difficult doing that because there's a large chance that you'll end up scratching the car. If your clamshell gets stuck and you need to move this back then you need a stiff piece of wire bent in a right angle like that. You might also be able to use a long slim screwdriver. What I'm trying to do is pull it back this way towards the trunk of the car and the way to do that is there's a little hook a little hole just here and you can just about get a piece of wire in that hole and then push and eventually the clamshell should spring open you can either come in with that piece of wire from the top like so or you can potentially if you bend a piece of wire slightly differently, come in from the, um, this gap here. 
If you do do that, make sure you put tape all the way around here so you don't scratch the paint. If we move this soft top out of the way, we can have a better look at that mechanism. When you're putting the soft top up, put your hand on the center of the roof, lift up part of the way, and then use your other hands to grab the back of the roof. So ideally you want to have this back section lifted out of that um, compartment there before you've put the front section down. So the whole section lifts up like that. Then you lock the front in if you're putting the roof up. Then you close the clamshell and then you lock the rear down. With the roof lifted out of the way, you can get a better idea of what is happening here. There is a lever that connects to this mechanism here and the cable, you can see our cable is broken at the end there, connects to this and that cable goes all the way around to the other catch. We're just going to unbolt this with these two bolts and spring washers here. And then there's a small circlip to undo there and then some little nuts at the bottom here and we should be able to just slide that out. Whether or not we can get this circlip off without it dropping down that hole there is of course another question. We'll give it a red hot to go. With a couple of 10 mil spanners, we should be able to just loosen this off, which should allow this just to slide out. And then there should be a pin in here, which we can just knock through. And in theory, all we need to do now is put this back together without dropping everything. This whole spring mechanism should just go on that side and this should slip in there, in theory, like so. And then we just need to tighten that up. There. And then we just need to thread this new section under. This section goes underneath and just threads through that hole like that. Sometimes it's easier to actually lift this off in order to thread that into there. Once you've threaded that wire in down there, you can attach this bit here, but before you attach it, I would suggest putting a cloth or something there so that you don't drop the nuts, the bolts and the washers down that hole, which I've done many times before. Obviously, we will be replacing all of these fittings with stainless steel fittings and new spring washers. If you do ever need to take this off to change a cable, my advice would be to either draw around it so that you know exactly where to put it back on or just use some masking tape to mark, mask the edges so that it goes on in exactly the same place. It is quite tricky getting this on because you have to get that side bolt there in first and the way to do it is to loosen these two bolts and just slightly move this out the way and then when you've got that bolt in there to be pushing against this to hold it in and then use a small open spanner to tighten it up but it is extremely fiddly. Once you've put this new cable in make sure you clip it into this fitting here. It's important that the cable is clipped into there and can slide freely in that fitting. You know, it's taken me hours to figure out why I couldn't get that catch working. And the reason is, first of all, because the previous people had clamped that wire to here for some reason. And secondly, they drilled an additional hole here and in actual fact, the end of this wire should go through this further hole and not that hole there. Now that we've actually got that in the right hole, the edge of this should be adjusted so it's just touching there so that when you move the handle down, that's actually pushing that wire. There shouldn't be a gap there. It should be pushing that wire. And the action of pushing that wire actually releases that catch there. Now, if you find that your um, cable is not this catch is not moving enough what you can do is you can move this outwards here by adjusting this screw and then screwing this out so for example if there was a centimeter gap between the end of that and that little uh, fitting there you would 
put this, move this cable out by unscrewing this and then tightening this here up. So having got that cable in the proper hole, let's see if we can now kick this clamshell down for the first time since we've had this car and hopefully release it. First thing you need to do is make sure the soft top roof is all the way out and then you should hear a nice little click. And then you need to go round to the other side and click that down as well. And of course, hope that you've done everything to ensure that you can get that open again. That is the point of no return. Now the question is, when we click this handle here down, does the clamshell open? Woo, and it does as well, so that's perfect. Now let's see if we can actually put the soft top down and see if the hook disengages. Now the first thing you have to do is just move this handle up slightly to here and what that will do is move that hook out. Let's see if we can just capture that on. So you move the handle up and you can just about see the hook moving into position. Once you've moved that hook into position, you should just be able to click this down and then use the handle to lock it down. But this roof has not been down for 12 years and I can tell you, it is extremely stiff. I mean, if I sat with my full body weight on there, I might just about be able to get it down. So I don't think I'm gonna to attempt to put that down just yet. We will be replacing this hood anywhere, at least the windows, because it has broken windows here and it has a cut here. Now that might be able to repair that. Usually they have holes here as well where it catches on the mechanism, but this one seems to be all right in that respect. So we might just get away with being able to just redo the windows. When you come put your soft top back in the compartment or come to take your hard top off, the first thing to do is push this handle down and that moves the hook up. Once you have the handle in that position, next you need to move this lever down and that moves the hook back out of the way. Once you move that hook out of the way, this soft top here should spring up like that and you need to fold this all the way up to the top so that when you open the clamshell it clears this section here. Now to open this clamshell all you need to do is just push this handle down one click towards the seat and the clamshell should spring up like that. With the clamshell up and the roof folded back now you can undo these top catches here. That's the last thing you do. And once both of those catches are undone, the roof will just lift up. Now it's very important when you fold this away that you have this tucked in here properly because if you don't have that tucked in there, first of all, the side of this will rub on the mechanism and you'll rub a hole in it. And secondly, you're likely to end up creasing or damaging the windows. As you put this away like this, it's important to tuck this back in like so. It is really important that you tuck just, not just these corners here under the hinge, but most importantly, you tuck this end bit under the actual catch. If you don't do that, it will bend up like that. And when you put the, have the soft top on, the soft top won't sit flush on the car. It'll curl up like that. So it's really important whenever you put the soft top away to tuck that end bit under. You can see how this roof starts to curl up if you haven't tucked it in properly. And normally it's the center section here that curls up. And it's simply because you've stored the roof away without tucking it under. When you've got the roof down on the car, the soft top is folded away, the position of the handle will be like this. Now, if you move any of these things um, up towards the sky, it won't have any difference. It won't make any difference. It might look aesthetically more pleasing, but you'll have to remember to put them back in that position when you come to put the soft top back up or when you come to put the hard top on. Otherwise, the hooks will be in the wrong position. 
If you ever need to take your soft top handle off or if your car has manual windows and you never ever need to take the door cards and the handles off, the only thing holding the handle on is this piece of trim here, which many people break because they don't know how it comes off. The only thing holding this piece of trim to the handle are those two clips there and this little hole at the top here. Now you'll notice there's a larger hole and a smaller hole and to get this off you need to slide the trim down and that aligns the larger hole with the fitting that this slides onto and allows you to pry this off and then the un undo the bottom clips. The smaller hole slides into a groove on the fitting on either the door or the soft top mechanism and locks this in place. So to get this off, you slide it down a millimeter or two and then it should pop off. So just to conclude one more time, when this little leaf is up here, the hook is in the locking position. When it's down here, the hook is moved back out of the way. When this handle is moved up towards the sky like that and this lever and the handle are together the hook is pulled down and the roof is pulled tight to the car so that there puts the hook up and releases the hood and that there puts the hook to one side so if you're taking the hard top off or you're putting the soft top down the very first thing to do is to move this handle to this position here and that will move the hook up the next position the next thing to do is to move this lever down and that will move the hook out of the way the only thing this lever here does is it moves the hook from side to side it doesn't move the hook up and down and it doesn't release the clamshell so moving that lever towards the seats i.e towards the floor moves that hook out of the way and if you forget to do that you'll have all sorts of problems getting the hard top off or the soft top up the handle has several purposes when you move it down towards the seats when you move it down you're moving these catches out of the way now this catch here is mechanically connected to that handle there are no cables but the catch on the other side is connected via this cable here that goes into a tiny little hole here and that cable must be pushed hard up against here so that when you move the handle down you're actually pushing on that cable although it seems counterintuitive the action of pushing on that cable does actually release that catch in order to protect the rear plastic window when it's folded away the inside of here should have these felt strips stuck down which are missing on this car now you can buy a meter of self-adhesive felt strip from the sl shop it is actually slightly narrower than the original but it will do for the time being those felt strips went in without a problem. The last thing we're going to do is stick some sections of sponge in here and that stops the metal spikes from the soft top damaging this metal. There should be a spring connected to here and here, which is missing on this car. There's one on each side. So make sure that your mechanism has those because that helps keep everything nice and tight. Just got three batteries in here, another battery on here, all weighing this roof down and attempting to stretch this fabric which has been folded away for years. We're going to leave that overnight and hopefully that will allow us to um, click this roof into place. We're going to finish this video here. We managed to get this roof to lock down by weighing it down overnight. Now that we've got the soft top up, we can set about aligning the windows and finish off these doors, putting in the moisture barriers and the door handles and all the chrome, etc.